Hey there, crafters! It's Denise at Crafty Dandy, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California. And I am in the need of some sympathy cards. Uh, you know how you go through ages and stages and first all your friends are getting married, so you do all the weddings and then having babies and now I'm at the age, I guess, my husband has pointed out where um, parents of my friends are passing away. Um, being promoted to glory, you may say. Um, but needed to get some sympathy cards. So I thought, why don't you come along in this journey with me? <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is what we're going to be making today. Just with the same layout, but just different different papers and ideas. So let, let, let me talk to you about this. Um, this sentiment is from this stamp set, Heal Your Heart. And I think this is so useful and I love it. And this, the font, the script is beautiful. So I hope this isn't glaring, but we've got, we're in this together. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Um, wishing I could heal your heart. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. I don't know what I would do without you. So we've got inside sentiments, outside sentiments, and this is from the Celebration catalog. Now, if you're not familiar with Celebration, this runs from January 5th to February 28th, 2021, and this shows you all the things you can get for free. Yes, I said free. Free with $50 purchase, you can have this beautiful paper. You can have these adorable donkeys. Oh, we got all sorts of cute stuff in here. The Oso oh Ombre paper, Approaching Perfection, and here's the Heal Your Heart. Now those are for um, $50. If you purchase $50 uh, before tax and shipping, then you can get these items for free. And then farther on, oh, there's more for free. They have items that if you spend $100, you can get them. And so I've done some other videos with these items and I love them. There is like nothing in here that I don't love. It's pretty amazing. So celebration, all that information will be linked below. But let's get started and let me tell you what I'm using right now. We've got, well, I'm using the Knight of Navy, okay? And what I did was I, well, let me get the one that we're going to make. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. All right, so we take a full size, eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half, we fold it in half, and there we have our card base. Right, then, and all the measurements will be below. And then we're going to cut another piece of the Knight of Navy, and that will be four by five and a quarter. So it's just a little bit smaller. And what I did to get this texture, does that show up? I used this embossing folder old world paper 3d embossing folder and that's from the annual catalog and you may know i'm a little new to stamping up so i don't have a lot of the items but i chose this one as my embossing folder and what you do is when you take your paper you put it in here you close it up and you run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine okay which is across the room so i can't show you that but when you open it up this is what you get and it just adds just a little bit of something extra to this doesn't it oh, I think that looks good all right then we're going to put a strip of white now this is finishing up my stash of whisper white but if you're just ordering you would be ordering basic white that Stampin Up's new white color and then for the, the little splash of color, 
I have this set. This is also in the annual catalog, Flowers for Every Season. You can tell this is a well-loved set of paper, stack of paper. But I had this, I did other projects, and then I just had these little strips left over. And wouldn't you know it, works out for the perfect size for this. So let me tell you, the white strip is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. So it comes all the way to the edge of this embossed Knight of Navy. And then this designer series paper, I call it DSP, is two by five and a quarter, all right? So we're gonna put that together. And then once again, from the Heal Your Heart, I used Wishing I Could Heal Your Heart. I love that sentiment. So there were a couple ways we could go with this. I did this, this is from, you know, I use it in practically everything, the Hippo and Friends dies. Let me show you these. Probably let's see if I have them oh, upside down. So it has all sorts of really useful things. This is talk about bang for your buck. This is it right here. We've got these layering ones, labels, but this is one I chose. This one right here. All right. So that, or if you have a circle punch, just use a circle punch. All right. Well, let's start putting this together. So I'm gonna always have decisions, decisions. If I wanna pop it up or I wanna glue it flat, I'm gonna use the liquid adhesive, liquid Tombow, and I'm gonna stick this on here. Put my lid back on. All right, now I'm gonna try and get this straight, which is sometimes a little difficult to do because the camera is in the way. Let me put this straight. And that looks pretty straight. Hey, it's handmade, so it's not perfect, so be it. All right. Now, to put this on the designer series paper on the white, we're gonna use the Stampin' Seal. Just run it down there. And again, we will try and center this without bumping the camera. And this is gonna go all the way to the end because it's the same size, five and a quarter. All right, now to stick this on, we are going to use dimensionals. So that's these, and they're pre-cut. Pulled out a new stack. Oh, maybe they're cut. Oh, they usually are. Just having a little trouble gripping them. All right. So we're going to pop this up on here. Okay. Worked out really well with these little extra pieces I had. I'm a little bit over the edge there. I'm just gonna trim that. Okay. All right. Now take off papers. All right. And there's no like upside down or anything with this. So I'm gonna go all the way to the edge of that embossed paper. I'm gonna try and center it. All right, so that gives, I don't know if you can really tell, but it gives some dimension to it. All right, then we'll have, I really like this shape. I mean, the circle's good. If you, you know, if you have the circle die or a circle punch, a circle punch is really, really versatile and they come in three different sizes. Stampin' Up, not exactly sure which size this is. Two or something, I don't know. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pop this up too. Now you do wanna keep in mind how many layers you have popped up if you're gonna mail it. But I'll put this up there. Right, I'm gonna put that right about there. Does that look like it's in the middle? All 
right, now I think we're going to add some bling. On this one, I used some of the little bead thingies from Flowers for Every Season Gems. On this one, I used sequins from, just to give you some ideas, Artistry Bloons Adhesive Backed Sequins. I think we're going to go with that. All right, so let me pull out this one. I've got my Take Your Pick tool. It makes it easier to pull this off. I'm going to go, whoops, I've got them upside down. Take that and, hmm, do we want to, I think I'm going to go on there. It's going to show up nicely. And a little one there. And a little one there. All right, how's that look? Looking good, I think. Now this take your pick tool is really handy. Um, this has got the pokey end. This has a little spatula. This end has sticky stuff. So if I were doing these makes it really easy to pick them up. So that's something you can put on your wish list. All right, let's use a ribbon. Now, if you know, if you know me, you know I have really trouble tying ribbon. <laughs> so I pre-tied a couple of these. I like that one. I also did a white one, which I would trim a little shorter. I also have this little green one. So we've got the Just Jade in there. Oh, I kind of like that. And let's see. Well, first of all, we're going to get a glue dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of roll it. So I'm trying to give you all sorts of tips and tricks today. And I'm going to put it right there. And you know what? I'm going to go with this one. Let me tell you something about how I tied these. I really do have a hard time. I went on YouTube and I followed a tutorial on how to tie a bow using a fork. Now, this is one of those big, huge serving forks. That is the size bow that it makes. So you'll have to go check that out. All right. There's our first card. Now, remember, since this is dark, you need to put a, a white paper inside. Let's see, did I do it in that one? Put a white, I had one handy here. Oh well, I'll get it <laughs> before I write on it, obviously. All right, so that's our first one. So the other thing that I had done was when I pulled out one of those scraps of paper here, I had this and I realized, you know what? I think it kind of, it didn't look very good going horizontally, right? It needed to go vertically. So I just cut the card the other direction and just shifted it over to the side. It's the exact same items, the exact same dimensions, right? Well, except I did it this way, but I didn't have to. I could have done it this way. All right. All right, so let's make one of these. And I have this one in Just Jade. So same thing. We've got our Just Jade card base. Okay, it was a full sheet. I cut it in half, fold it in half. There's our card base. I put this through the embossing folder, which what's it called again? Old World Paper 3D Embossing Folder. All right, I did turn it the other way. So the crinkles are kind of going that way. I don't think it matters. Why do we bend it that way? No, nope, I don't think it matters at all. All right. And then the white strip, which I'm going to move to the side. And then because these flowers for every season, I felt were going vertically. That's why I decided to do it this direction. We've got our same sentiment. We're going to go with our green. All right, and then we'll decide what bling we want to put on it. All right, this one I'm going to do with the only thing differently besides the 
orientation of the card is that I'm going to put this up on dimensionals because I had done another one like that. Let me bring this one over. Okay, so this done with the big circle. This is more paper from the celebration catalog. That is, let me show you. Oh, maybe I passed it. Is it no. Let me see. Oh, here it is. The flower and field designer series paper. That's that. Okay. I love that black background. It's really nice. All right. So this is the same card. Oh, cut out a little heart there. Got the bow on the heart. And um, yeah, so, oh, and so I was going to show you this one. I put this part up on dimensionals and then put the other flat. So let's try that. See which one we like best. So first of all, let's put this on here. Put that over there. All right. If I can get it straight, this is the measurements have this going all the way to the top, five and a quarter. We've got it straight. I think that's pretty good. And then we're going to put this on here. And I'm going to use liquid glue for this because sometimes with all the bumps and ridges, the nooks and crannies, it needs a little extra to stick to it. Because I don't want to have to push down on it. All right. Going to the side. And trying to get it straight. All right, now it looks like I went a little long with this. So I'm going to trim that. I think um, it actually gets a little shorter when it goes through the embossing folder. I'm just going to even that out a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're going to stick this up on dimensionals. And we set them down and then can't find them. In the middle for good measure. is really very simple and very beautiful. So I'm wishing I could heal your heart. I do so like that sentiment. Oh, that lid back on my glue. Okay. All right. I'm going to pop this up. This is probably going to take quite a few, huh? I well, hope everybody's having a good day today. Hope you're making up your wish lists for your products. Remember, if your wish list is over $99, you might want to consider becoming a demonstrator so you can get $125 of items of your choice for $99 free shipping. And then for the next three months, you'll get a 20% discount or instant income, they call it. But also right now they're having a special where they're throwing in a whole bunch of designer series paper. All right. Let's see if we can get this straight now. All right. How's that? Looking good, right? All right, let's put some bling. Let's put a ribbon. Get my glue dot. Right there. My cute little ribbon. This is, um, this ribbon actually is, I think, pool party. 
this one. But I think it goes very well with the Just Jade. All right, these are elegant faceted gems. And these have adhesive. We're gonna get that and we're gonna stick it up there. I'm gonna, trying to choose kind of a flat area for it. And down here. Oops. Hmm. Oh, let's try a different one. Ah, I can get it. And let's see, how about there? All right. How's that look? All right, so we've got that one. And where's the other one we just made? This one, remember both of these would need the white put inside so you can write on it. And um, that stamp set does have inside sentiment. Sorry for your loss in that beautiful script. All right, crafters. Well, um, thank you for joining me as I made cards. This is real world crafting. Because <laughs> um, it's just, just the time that these were needed. All right. Well, until next time, hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you soon. Bye.